Hey guys, here I'm from Bixby, and today oh, we're at our warehouse in uh, San Diego, and uh, I'm going to show you guys two new adapters that we have uh, we are introducing this week, and also a small bracket that we're uh, introducing. These are all related to our steering systems that we have for our um, adapters. So our pole steering works on all of our stern mounted adapters. So right here we have the back of a Hobie Pro Angler and uh, we've got it mounted here with the Hobie power pole plate adapter and our power pole adapter on the plate. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount our pole steering adapter on here so then we're able to steer our motor from a sitting position at our seat. Okay, so this is what you'll get in your package. You're going to get your the actual bracket. This is the steering bracket. You're going to get a pivot arm, a zip tie, and the bolt to bolt it down. So installation is very easy. You need a 10 millimeter ratchet wrench and a five millimeter Allen key. We start off by putting this bracket right on top of our pipe clamp there and running the zip tie right through the air, back toward here and we tie the zip tie down. There we go. We'll give it a good yank. So that's there, nice and tight now. It's not going anywhere. And you've got your M6 nut and bolt and washer. We gotta make sure that the bolt goes right through the middle of that pipe clamp. And you put your washer on there and you bolt it on. I'm gonna grab it. So we want to make that nice and tight and that's going to grab your pipe clamp and that is your steering right there. By the way, you can, you can do this either way. So you can have this, uh, what would this be, a left-handed steering or you can turn this around, do the exact same thing and you'll have right-handed steering there. But the next thing is to put your pivot arm on there. So you need the same 10 millimeter socket wrench. And the hole here, I'm gonna turn this around so the camera can see. So we've got our threaded hole there. We put our eye loop through there. Spin, 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 spin. So we get about a quarter of an inch out. Once you've got a quarter of an inch out, you put your bolt on there. Just give that a good tightening. It'll be nice and firm there. That's all we've got. That's it. And we are pretty much done. The only thing left now is your steering handle. Now what I've got is I've got a paintbrush handle here from Home Depot. We don't sell or ship these because there are so many different variations of these available and they're so, they're so cheap that for us to ship you something like this and charge you $22 to ship, it's just not worth it. So you pick one of these up at Home Depot or any hardware store. Okay. And this guy just screws right into there. And the one I've got is telescopic, so it's adjustable. So you know if you're sitting way out or whatever, you can, you can reach it. And that's it, if you're sitting on your seat, you've got full steering now. And I've got sort of this rack on my way. But you can see, I can do full 180 steering with this guy. Very, very simple. Now, if you're in your kayak, one thing, one thing I've, I've done before and I've seen other guys do is you can actually strap this guy down with a bungee right beside your seat. So if you want to go straight and you don't want this thing just running on you, just a very simple bungee right on top of this pole here. We'll just lock it down and you'll be in position and you can adjust as you're going forward. And that's it, guys. Simple as that.